Hey everybody, um, my name is Owen and welcome to this video. How you doing guys? Oh sorry! <laughs> So, who's going to go first? No, I'll go ahead, ladies first. Hi everybody, I'm Lynn, how are you having an incredible day? Guys, I'm Sean, and uh, you probably already heard me saying that a second as well, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, guys, you're very welcome to this collaboration video, yeah. and uh, we're going to have a, a wonderful time talking about a yeah. topic that we, we just started talking about, we're free-flowing now, so this is just going to be yeah. uh, incorporated in this end of the video. You're right. a fly on the wall. We were just talking about like God and like religion and we just thought let's make a video about it because it'd be fun and exciting. So this is it this is it for you and thanks for joining us. Enjoy the video, I hope. So we haven't actually as obviously me and Lynn as being partners, we would have talked about this before, but this is the first time we've really had a good <laughs> yeah, conversation with us. Owen. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. um, we're all gonna probably hear uh, information for the first time. We wanted to to bring us into this. So what yeah. religion is God? Is yeah. God any religion? It's a that? very interesting topic, isn't it? Yeah. Right, Lenny, do you want to start off with? Yeah, well, I mean, I often get asked, obviously because of what we, the line of work we do, what religion am I? Mm. And I tend to say I don't have any religion. I've never followed religion. And usually the response I get from people at that is, oh, so you don't believe in God. And I say, of course I believe in God. Like, I really believe in God as a life force energy. I truly believe in God as a yeah, creator. But it's interesting because people automatically assume that if, if you're not religious, then you must automatically just be an atheist, which couldn't be further from the or truth. Devil me, worshiper. Because I, I truly believe in God as well. And I always put prayers out there and a lot of the time they get answered. Yeah. So I am a very, very spiritual person, but I'm not religious in any form. And if they keep going on and sometimes they'll say, oh, well, you know, you can't, you know, if you're not religious, you can't be into God and you can't believe in God. And I turn around and I say, well, if that's the case, what religion is God? Yeah. And they often left stumped and they go, hmm, that's a really good point, you know, you're right. So basically this is what we're going to be covering yeah. in this video. And God isn't any, God wasn't or isn't a religious entity. God is like a, a God or like a, not the patriarchal man with the beard in the clouds. And God, and Haskin. <laughs> like it's a bit like Jesus like for example like Jesus wasn't a Christian or a Jesuit he wasn't Christian like he, he didn't people made apparently um, depending on what story you believe about Jesus he, the thing was there were stories made about Jesus after he passed on or whatever the case was just different stories about what that was with Jesus and all this stuff but if he um, even existed yeah I, I heard from channels yesterday that Christ or a, a Jesus like figure like absolutely existed and I, what I heard was that um, I think I think the channel said it was an immaculate or a non-typical like um, um, conception of some sort like maybe it wasn't just an ordinary childbirth or whatever else yeah. and then he did ascend so maybe he just ascended like from 3D to different dimensions which is possible yeah. my, my view um, on try go ahead look at that yeah, um, but if people ask me like what religion I am, which they never really do actually, to be honest. Yeah. But I just say in the past, I've said I'm a mixture of all religions. I take the best out of all of them, and I know all religions have a lot of truth in them, and they also a lot of, all of them basically have a lot of like stories and fabrications and things that mislead you. Um, yeah. But what I've heard about religions from ch channels like such as like Abraham or others, and I know some people say Abraham or maybe like, sinister or like bad. But most of the Abraham channels that I've actually um, listened to have been like brilliant overall. But they're mostly focused about like feeling good, but rather than taking actual action in the world. So in a way, I feel a bit imbalanced. Sure. And they do kind of create people who might just want to sit at home and feel good instead of doing anything to help the world. Yeah. But their focus is feeling better than the way you were a minute ago. It's good if you're suffering a lot, but it doesn't really empower or inspire you to like be a world changer and to be really rooted in your bottom half of your chakras as well as your maybe your any other chakras as well. Um, I would I would say that you know what I want to clarify that you know that neither of us are here to you know take anybody's religion away or your belief system away because that's the thing where we are we're actually coming from a hard space um, place in our lives you know what I mean I, I have no religion either and although I was born into the Catholic faith yeah me too and yeah. for twenty odd years that I, I would have technically practiced it so yeah I'm aware of it. <laughs> but I have no I affiliation I hold any religion at yeah. all. We're I'm getting paid by the, by the Buddhists and the Muslims yeah. to, put, to put down the Catholics. <laughs> I personally see um, I personally see religion as a form of control, and I, I look at all religions uh, as that. And this is me speaking for myself, yeah. my own personal Woo. belief. If you believe in what you believe, and that's fine, and I will genuinely uh, support 
uh, till my death you're right to believe and practice the things you want to do so I'm not having to go at anybody we're just, just not torture no, people this is not, 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 not having to go it's, 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 it's like it's a form but of control uh-huh. there's some things that are really to be anti about religion like just the burning of witches the crucifixions of like innocent people the stoning of women a lot of religions that are born in the last few thousand years are patriarch coming from patriarchal totally ego swept Masculine um, energy, destructive, yeah, massive masculine overtaking of the whole earth, and well, an yes. over sweeping and a suppression and a beating down, even killing of females, especially, but yeah. also on no, other religions that you don't agree with. So Many it goes against times. your own beliefs mm-hmm. about love and everything. Like I have some strong feelings against religion, um, as well. Like I, I love the good parts about love and actually real, real proper spirituality that they encompass. But there's so much like lies and control. Like personally speaking, from my deepest heart, I'd say like be really, really careful. Like don't be like a baby or like an immature juvenile ish, juvenile ish, and just like believing everything you hear. Because I did that in the past, and I used to go to church for the first like many years of my life, eighteen. And I'm not saying it's juvenile to go to church by any means. I'm not trying to say that, and I'm actually planning on going to church in the future, at least. Um, because like sometimes a very like and why good would energy. Go? Why would you go? Why would you? I, I well, like um, <clears throat> just because a friend of mine says that she feels very good when she goes to map to like even into an empty church, like very sort of like peaceful. Like people are praying about like love and compassion and healing and p- praying for peace. And There's a lot of good energy in churches. Energy Absolutely, I can actually resonate with the ones you're saying there, and that's why yeah. I asked the question. And they say this is not scripted. This is actually just off the cuff. I feel the exact same way. Yeah. That although I'm not religious. When you go to the place of someone who's worship, worship that they're actually praying to their God, whatever they quote God would be, yeah. Allah, Buddha, whatever they don't believe in, if, Muslim, if they're yeah. all there with the intentions that they're actually praying for love and peace and kindness and thing, but how could you not soak up that energy? So yeah, yeah. I would go to the church as well. We all together. <laughs> 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 We're converted. You see, the problem is, is that I, I won't affiliate myself with one say because yeah. by affiliating yourself with one religion. You're alienating all the other religions. You're saying, the same, well, this religion's right and all them is wrong. See, that's really immature and babyish and juvenile. Like, that's like a basic, immature human being. Like, we're all, in my opinion, we're spiritual beings having a human experience. We're multi dimensional beings. And this, I'm not the only one who's like making this up. This is in like so many different things, even in religions. Like, for example, like the Bible is like full of cryptic messages, such as, there are many houses in my, there are many rooms in my mansion. Like, for example, I think that could be. There are many dimensions of existence or densities. Like we're mostly third density on Earth, I've heard, but other um, beings are like fourth slash fifth, and we're I heard we're third going with the fourth, but it'll take time. Um, I know this isn't very like practical information, but I'm just saying there's more than meets the eye. We've got seven major chakras and loads of other smaller chakras I've heard too, mm-hmm. but the bottom half is about the physical world, seeing stuff like. Well, the gross, like most basic surface level, like stuff. But then when you get to the other higher chakras, which most people are t- totally not even working on much at all, that's when you start astral traveling, lucid dreaming, sensing things, being intuitive, having downloads, clear thoughts, and um, premonitions, dreams that come true, being in contact yeah. with the spirit world. Very like, good. This yeah. is non religious, like, this is like tr- reality. And religion, religion like, suppresses that, doesn't it? And yeah. I find a lot, a lot of religions suppress because they don't want you to think like that. Mm-hmm. Do you know? So yeah. it's, it's yeah. personally, our experience anyway, my experience, if somebody says to me, you know, if I had to say any religion, then it's love, just yeah. that, that's all you need, do you know? Yeah. I you love that. that. I love that. I love that. that. Yeah. <laughs> like what religion that. says not about love? Is there any religion that doesn't talk about love? They talk about it, but they also preach hate and violence and anger. See, that's, that's man-made patriarchal nonsense and rubbish. Which is what religion is. A lot, of, a lot of religions have you know a lot of rubbish. It's, it's, if you think about it, it is all um, ruled down by man yeah. in their own interpretation to suppress <laughs> their, 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 their group of people from fear <laughs> until people. Yeah. I mean, 100% yeah. it's meant to be based on love, but at least they would practice it or we wouldn't have the situation yeah. we're currently having in this uh, world at this moment in time, one person yeah. fighting over someone Wars else. And yeah. everything my God, that. my Creator doesn't want anybody to be fighting amongst themselves. Absolutely. My God, yeah. my Creator wants people to respect each other's yeah. rights and belief systems. You're talking about the chakras. Yeah. You know, if you look at religion the exact same way, all the chakras are all very, very important in the bigger picture of yeah. the body of the whole. Equal. All religions, believe it or not, are all, you know, also equally important to the whole balance. 
to concentrate on one chakra or to concentrate on one religion, you're alienating all the other ones. Yeah. And that's why I don't believe that it's you like should be affiliated into one religion, apart from mm. what Lynn started the new yeah. religion, love. love. Yeah. <laughs> you, you should always Come be open minded. <laughs> You should always be open-minded if you want a deeper, more expanded, truthful experience. So I'm not saying you should be doing anything, but if you want to do it as part of like having a deeper, expanded, more rich, uh, truthful experience, then you should think about being more open-minded. It's like always saying, I'm only, I'm only going to try out one like Indian food, but I'm never going to try or think about the benefits or the validity of other food. And speaking of like your God being good God and all this stuff, I heard um, lately from a channeled message. I don't know who it was from. It might have been. I love Jesus in channeled messages, by the way. Like I highly resonate with the idea or the resonance, the consciousness of Jesus. He says amazing, brilliant, like wise things, but they're very deeply rooted in his heart. But they're also like majestically wise and clear and empowering and truthful. Like they resonate deep down in me. But I generally love a lot of different channeled messages. But one of the things I heard lately, which I totally resonate with, like a God of love will never create hell or any no. form of punishment system that's completely like rubbish and man-made stuff so you have to be really really careful about what you believe in like loads of religions are complete like crap to be honest like crap untruthful disempowering hurtful. hurtful you're gonna do the hell hurtful <laughs> information guys <laughs> and the reason why i speak passionately about this is because like i actually care for people like my heart is open and i love people um, and I don't want people to be like misguided, like because we're we're all on different maturity levels, and most this planet is like a very low mature, mature maturity level compared to other planets. Mm -hmm. But obviously, the ones who are more like awakening and conscious, they are like becoming more mature, like like an oak seed going into a sapling into a big oak tree. So we all just got to be careful, yeah. like you, obviously, like and you but can't just like believe everything anyone says. Like even what I say, I like, question it. Like I think that's what Buddha said. Question. The rules you've inherited, the laws, the systems, the cultural beliefs. Definitely. Question me. Yeah. It's like they're saying about, about Jesus with the, the star, you know, the, the big star of Bethlehem. If you think about it, that could be like a spaceship, do mm. you know, and uh, Jesus being an alien. Um, and then some people will be like, the Christians go, that's terrible, say, you know, saying Jesus, know. but he's, he was an extraterrestrial. Um, that has come from another dimension and it's happening today. I mean, there's UFOs, yeah. spaceships and everything. So it would have been happening They're thousands of things. years it, ago as it, well. It's in the pictures though. Mm. Do you know that? It's all over the pictures and it's apart from the caves, it's over, it's, it's apart from in caves and in like nature and it, like on the ground and in the land, all of these like signs of UFOs and other civilizations. Um, it's also even in religious books. The, I'm sure it's in the Bible mentioned loads of times also about, um, ETs and spaceships and stuff and UFOs but it's also even in like old like, pictures like from a long time ago like I, religious you pictures see, as, as my own personal belief with the Bible and the things like that is, is I won't um, I look on it as, as a good novel yeah. in the context that I turn and say I can see that it's actually a lot of it would be loosely based on fact but we also have to remember that it was compiled in such a way mm. um over especially even you know the current bible like you're talking like three four five six seven eight hundred years um especially mm. the new testament and they're taking it and they've, you know they've, they've packaged it up they've and changed sort of it so much over the years you know so i would actually this? look on it by all means i would have no doubt that there'd be do i believe in jesus existed not in the concept that I believe that we're portrayed in, in our religious teachings and our schools and, and things like that. I believe we were all um, God-like beings. Yeah. We're all like that. So was there somebody, you know, walking about 2,000 years ago who could heal people? Yeah, we Who could, had we love are, in their we, heart? 100%, yeah. there's no doubt about it. And we can do that and we are God. Yeah, yeah, we are an extension of God. Like even the Bible itself says, who talks about God the most that I know of, is like we are omnipresent and omnipotent we're like all powerful and god is everywhere so if god is everywhere and all powerful then we're obviously god too and that's even in spirituality that's like yeah, a very common mainstream great. belief like we are we are like the light of the sun so to speak and like we're totally not separated from the sun or not the sun yeah. we're not we're not not we are god so 100%. but i there's some things i love about the bible and their uh, religion too like i don't want to come across it i'm just like some sort of angry resentful person i am in the slightest bit but uh, about anything or religion included like i don't think you are coming across <laughs> like and i think you're coming across as somebody who, who's quite open to yeah. this thing and I, can't, I think it's a two-way street that yeah do you know what i mean as somebody who's not religious or somebody who i don't know what you're religious or what but um i think it has to be a two-way street or someone who's non-religious is, is offering up uh love and acceptance to other people who have religion 
Um, well, I would only expect the same in return. I, I make no apologies of my views. Yeah, you should. Me too. Shouldn't. I'm not going to make any apologies. I, I don't at all think right. anybody should. We're no, all, we're all so loving true. beings, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I know my God yeah. is sitting. My God, your God. Let's put it that way. We're irrespective of what religion or belief you have, <laughs> and the love is all. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you know? I see God every time I go out. Cause me going out in nature. That's my God. I mm. see. I see God living all around me. And my flowers, when, when I see the flowers on them, to me, yeah. that is the most soul-feeding thing on the planet. That, yeah. That's my God. Mm. So, yeah. you know, love is my God. And, you know, you if I have to say religion at all, that's you can never have enough of it. Yeah. I'm like, I totally. Yeah. It's true, though. I think it's wonderful. But my, it's good to My hero of Peace Program used to say that, like, you can, she'd see God in the sunset, she'd hear God in, like, music or in natural sounds, yeah. and she'd feel God through emotional like high emotions and all these like lovely 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 things so there you go guys i hope you found that we just shared our opinions and this is not an anti-religion video so so please religion it's positive it's positive it's being mature and responsible like you can't be like look at the suffering on the world and a lot of this has got to do with religion it's got to do a lot of stuff it's got to religion too like let's call a spade a spade i i know i'm being just simply mature and responsible about warning people about possible pitfalls it's, um, I, there's loads of pitfalls in life and possible dangers and religion is just like one of them it's a very big one at this time on earth um, but there's great things about religion I accept honour and love like people who are religious I just hope that they do actually live by their religious beliefs about unconditional love and love your neighbour I love the truth will set you free um, to thine own self be true um, love thy neighbour as thyself um, where does well it's not religious to say where there's a will there's a way um, you do your half God will do the, you do your half of doing something and God will do the other half so there's loads of amazing wisdom and deep teachings in religious books and I totally love them they've really helped me in my life so I'm actually really really wow, grateful I love what you're saying it's amazing right, absolutely the deep wow, truth in, wow. in the Bible like, I, I love so many things in the Bible I just don't love some other things especially suppression of women and I don't like any power don't, don't take it as gospel yeah. I don't, don't take it as gospel <laughs> I like that <laughs> I have yeah. to be open minded because at the end of the day, I've made my views clear on it. Um, I, I can't look in the Bible as anything other than um, a group of words put together yeah. um, and has been misrepresented and it's actually there to manipulate and to control the masses. Uh, excuse that pun. Um, so I can't dip in toes <laughs> of it and say that oh, I like this, but, but I'm not going to recognize the other. So, but yeah. I know where you're coming from. There's some yeah. beautiful things on it, but so, because it's I've stepped back from yeah. that vibration. We started talking about this, John, didn't we? Because I think you mentioned about you were ta- we were talking in the kitchen, and he mentioned about like like Protestants against Catholics and Catholics against Protestants in the north of Ireland where Sean grew up, and obviously like killing, murder, and all these type of very hurtful things are nothing got to do with true, real spirituality or what a God. Or, or whatever word you want to use, like um, a higher power would never be like trying never to like, kill get people. people to like hurt each other no. in the slightest bit. So you have to be mature and see clearly and be like adults. Um, even though it's hard to be in this, well, it can be a little challenging at this time. Quite easy. It's quite easy to be adults. You <laughs> yeah. just have to make a move and be one. Yeah, you just want to be, to grow up. Most right. people don't want to grow up. They want to be babied. And that's what governments and the Illuminati, the cabal, so the religious try and do. They try and disempower. So you're like a baby. And you're just like a baby, and then you're disempowered because you're a baby. You're being spoon fed everything, and you just try and always be independent, like on the big, <laughs> big daddy and mommy who are telling you what to believe and think. Right? It's so true, isn't I'll it? I'll be dead. <laughs> Guys, there you go. We have left you enough right. um, information to today, <laughs> yeah. And do, you, uh, do you want to say anything else? I want to say one the little, small little last thing, but do you want to say no, anything else? No, that's, that's me. That's... I just want to say the most fun thing that I like and love the most is growing up as a spiritual, mental, emotional, mental, yeah, spiritual, mental, most physical, and as a man, like, I just love growing up and maturing to become a proper, well-rounded and loving human divine being. That's the best thing ever. It's the real life, it's the real living as the best quality, happiest living. That's wonderful. That's so wonderful. I love that. Do you guys? No, like, I'm wrapping up. I'm... Because we said, I think you said it amazing. I have yeah. to say One thing to say, you don't talk about religion and politics. I love it. <laughs> religion and politics, two things. Is, is, uh, <laughs> it's like a fart in a space suit. Um, yeah. They'll go down uh, the wrong way, yeah. so a lot of people don't like it. So there you go, guys. Listen, thanks very much uh, for watching. Um, we're going to put links all down below to respective channels here. Um, we'd love to have your comments and yeah. views on what you think. And be nice to people. Don't be hammering people and don't be being rude to people if they put. Uh, comments down below 
um, and it's not what you believe and you know, give everybody the right to believe what they want to believe and it's full terse. Yeah, they may disagree uh, <laughs> of what you say, but I'll fight until my dad breath to give you the right to say <laughs> yeah. these things. There you go. I, I want to ask Lynn a question. Lynn, do you like growing up? I do like growing up, yeah, even though I'm only tiny, I'm only five foot, but yeah, I do like growing up. I think you're like an incredibly just, happier person now than you were five years ago when you went on the, spirit, the spiritual journey yeah, growing up. I tell you up, what, healing, five you know? years ago, I was just a totally different person. Um, might look the same, but I'm far, far, far more different. balanced. Yeah, I bet you yeah, look way yeah. more radiant and glowing yeah. now. I bet for my far life. Far more balanced and I'm far more spiritual as well, really at the higher level, totally. And really happy. Do you know, funny enough, I know this is going to go against, uh, sorry, completely different to what I've been talking about, and I'll make this really, really quick. No, but um, I was walking around Dublin yesterday, and, you know, I didn't have a lot of money in my pocket, but I felt yeah. like the most richest woman on the planet. And I thought, why yeah. is that? You know, there's always amazingly lovely shopping boutiques everywhere. Mm. But I just felt so wealthy. And I realised that the first time ever in my life, I feel really emotionally. That's brilliant. Really emotionally Beautiful. so wealthy. It's and, and spiritually so wealthy that I felt like the richest woman on that's earth. That's a beautiful story. So true. And then she just told me she had a lovely dream of like a lovely elevated <laughs> yeah, dream. Yeah, we were all lifting up in the sky and I actually and found myself... And three, was it? The three of us. She yeah, yeah, another three video, another video, guys. Yeah, <laughs> 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 well, the three of us together can just rabbit and rabbit and yeah. rabbit and rabbit <laughs> without talking. Yeah. Alright, well thanks guys for all the love shared, all the information. <laughs> Thank you so we much. We love you both. I know you really all love each other and uh, We do. That's absolutely wonderful. Share We're subscribe. All in this religion of love. Love. Yeah. Do promote the video please guys by giving it a like and by it supports it in the Google searches and all the stuff. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all the stuff, favourite. Just show your support, love and appreciation. And we I personally am speaking for myself, like show my love, gratitude, support. My appreciation for your support and love. Yeah. <laughs> and company. She Sending you loads and loads of love and loads and loads of happiness as always from Ireland. Woo! Yay. Guys, Woo! see you later. Until the next video. Awesome. Woo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We're ascending. <laughs> <laughs> see you everybody. Bye.